Today on MTG Unpacked, it's time for an epic pre-release pack battle. So we have Theros Beyond Death and Ikoria Lair of Behemoths. So leave your predictions in the comments section. Which pre-release pack do you think will be the winner? Alright, let's get into it. So we'll start off here with Theros. And it's been a while since I've cracked one of these open, so I'm hoping to see some nice promo. Alright, we're going to roll lucky number 7, nope, 15, bad luck, alright, let's see, okay, nothing else in there, so we have 6 packs of goodness, and I will be showing the codes later in the video, stay tuned, alright, let's get cracking here. Okay, we start off with Portent of Betrayal. Karametra's Blessing, Deny the Divine, Wrap in Flames, Rage Scarred Berserker, Gift of Strength, what are you? I'm still trying to figure it out, is that a cattail or are you a weird demented raccoon? Leave your guesses in the comments section what that creature is. Blight Breath, Katobalpa, Relentless Pursuit, Flummox Cyclops, Grey Merchant of Asphodel. There is Gary himself, Clothus's Design, Soul Guide Lantern, and the rare is Tectonic Giant, Creature Elemental Giant 3 4 for 4. So whenever it attacks or becomes target based spell and opponent controls, choose one. It deals 3 damage to each opponent or exile the top two cards of your library. Choose one of them until the end of your next turn. You may play that card. And a foil rare, Protean Thaumaturge, creature human wizard 1-1 one, one for 2, with constellation whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, you may have Protean Thaumaturge become a copy of another target creature, except it has this ability. And a planes, and no table required in the arena, what are you playing in MTG Arena these days? Any spicy brews cooking, especially with Core 2021? Or even Jumpstart, I should say, with that, uh, some of the cards, or most of the cards in Historic. Next up we have Indomitable Will, Naiad of Hidden Coves, Underworld Rage Hound, Heliod's Pilgrim, Lampad of Death's Vigil, Scholar Grove Dancer, Soul Reaper of Mogus, Captivating Unicorn, Pious Wayfarer, and Uncommon's Farika's Spawn, Slaughter Priest of Mogus, yes, in the Rakdos colours. What is your favourite guild? Is it Rakdos? Leave a note in the comments and Clothus's design and rare Hakdos the Unscarred, legendary creature. Human Warrior 6 1 for 4 in the Boros colours. He attacks each combat if able. As it enters the battlefield, choose 2, 3, or 4 at random, and he has protection from each commander mana cost other than the chosen number. With a foil, Dawn Evangel. And a mountain and human soldier. I thought there might have been a goat on the other side, but alas, there was not. So that is my sole aim of this video, to pull as many goat tokens as we can. Let's continue. We have Aspect of Manticore, Omen of the Sun, Gift of Strength, you again, Rage Scab Zerka, Thirst for Meaning, Satessin Skirmisher, Iris's Blessing, Funeral Rites, a Dreadful Apathy. And Uncommon's Maya Triton, Impending Doom, Escape Velocity, and Rare. Ooh, not bad. Idyllic Tutor. Sorcery for three. Search your library for an enchantment card. Reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. And a foil Flummox Cyclops. So three for three on the foils. Island and Satyr token. Alas, it's not a goat. Maybe in one of the next three packs here. We got an Underworld Rage Hound, Leonin of the Lost Pride, Naiad of Hidden Coves, Discordant Piper, and here I am playing multiple flutes through my nostrils. I don't know how I do it, to be honest. And this guy is determined to be noticed, but we're going to ignore him. Venomous Hierophant, Chain to Memory, Hyrax Tower Scout, Satyr's Cunning, Hero of the Pride, Uncommon Scopos Maze Warden. Dawn of Angel, Field of Ruin, and rare is Gallia of the Endless Dance. So during creature Satyr 2-2 two, two, for 2 with haste. Other Satyrs you control get plus 1 plus 1 and have haste. And whenever you attack with 3 or more creatures, 
You may discard a card at random. If you do, draw two cards. And a forest and wall token. Okay, let's see. These go over here. Ah, two packs left. So, Idyllic Tutor, I think, is the best card so far. It's going to be pretty easy for Ikoria to beat that, but maybe we have a spicy promo. Next up, we have Final Flare. Glory bearers. Ichthyomorphosis, you have been fished, sir. Enjoy that. There I am again, Discordant Piper, Loathsome Chimera, Satyr's Cunning, Hero of the Pride, Chain to Memory, Farika's Libation, Hyrax Tower Scout, Furious Rise for the Uncommons, Wolf Willow Haven, Daxos, Blessed by the Sun, nice consolation artwork there, and a rare, oh, well, that's not bad, Dream Trawler, Creature Sphinx 3546 with Flying Lifelink. Whenever you draw a card, Dream Trawler gets plus one, plus zero until end of turn. And whenever Dream Trawler attacks, draw a card. And if you discard a card, Dream Trawler gains Hexproof until end of turn. Tap it. An island and a Kraken token. That is a close second for the cool tokens. Okay, final pack here. Let's get into it. And then we'll switch gears to Ikoria. Um, but we'll first have a peek at our promo there. Leonin of the Lost Pride, Triton Wave Rider, Incendiary Oracle, Temple Thief, Satessim Training, Voracious Typhon, Scofos War Leader, Myers Grasp, Towering Wave Mystic, Daybreak Chimera, Shoal Kraken for the Uncommons, Cling to Dust, Glimpse of Freedom, and the rare is Temple of Plenty. Not bad. It's a land, and Spiderfield tapped. When it enters Spiderfield, Scry One. You can tap it for green or white. And a planes and a human soldier. No goat, alas. All right, so let's clean things up here. So we'll have our rares over there. All right, and we did get three foils. All right, so what did we get in the promo? Let's check it out. I like to take them out of here so we get the full shine. It is Mantle of the Wolf. Enchantment aura for four. Enchant creature. The enchanted creature gets plus four, plus four. And when Mantle of the Wolf is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, create two, two, two green wolf creature tokens. Nice foiling on that one. All right. Let's get this out of the way. Moving on to Ikoria. So was anybody actually able to participate in the pre-release for either of these? So I did the Theros Beyond Death pre-release. I think that wasn't that around January 2020. Um, and then Ikoria, I just picked up a couple of boxes from my LGS. Because they were not holding events, alas. Oh, what, have, what else we got in here? Nothing. Alright. I'm going to roll a lucky seven. No. Never mind. Okay, so this business, we'll put that over here and spoil everything while we're at it. Okay, this guy, the prickly marmoset, look into his eyes, what do you see? I think he has a bit of a eye problem there. They should go to see a doctor. Okay, let's get into it. Starting off with Frostvale Ambush. Prickly Marmoset, there he is. Spontaneous Flight, Startling Development, Serrated Scorpion, Crustacean, Fire Prophecy, Savai Sabretooth, Migratory Great Horn, and Uncommon Sprite Dragon. That is actually, well, at one point it was over a buck, I'm not sure these days. Reconnaissance Mission, Necro Panther, and the rare is Voracious Great Shark. Creature Shark 5 4 for 5 with Flash when it ends Spadfield. Counter Target Artifact or Creature Spell. I think Ikoria is definitely winning in the coolness stakes. And a Foil and Darth a Crystal with a Plains and a Feather Token. That's interesting. Okay, on to the next. See what other craziness we can pull here. Startling Development. Frenzied Raptor Ram Through, Blitz Leech, Hampering Snare, Evolving Wilds, fantastic, it's been a while since I pulled one of those, Blood Curdle, Plummet, Dranath Healer, and Uncommon's Valiant Rescuer, Sonorous Howbonder, Blitz of the Thunder Raptor, and the rare is Offspring's Revenge, Enchantment, 
For five at the beginning of combat on your turn, that's how target red, white, or black creature card from your graveyard. Create a token that's a copy of that card, except it's 1-1. One, one. It gains haste until your next turn. And a foil bushmeat poacher. With a dismal backwater and no table required in the arena. So they keep telling us. Okay, we have a tentative connection, solid footing, frost veil ambush, dark bargain, survivor's bond, shredded sails, facet reader, sleeper dart, memory leak, and I will refrain from, I've forgotten already, there was some gag I was going to do, but I've forgotten it, greater sandworm, uncommon's rooting moloch, titanoth rex, auspicious starix with the Comic book artwork, and rare is Lava Brink Venturer. Creature, Human Soldier 333, as it enters bad food, choose odd or even, as protection from each converted mana cost of the chosen value. With an island and Human Soldier. Okay, three packs left. So, I don't know that we're beating that idyllic tutor from Theros. So pull up your socks, Ikoria. Let's see what you got. Gust of Wind. Prickly Marmoset. Yes. And a Helica Glider. That is quite a interesting back-to-back -back combo. Humble Naturalist. Mutual Destruction. Pacifism. Bliss Despect Gremlin. Facet Reader. Night Squad Commando. Flycatcher Jerifid. And Uncommon's Huntmaster Liger. Charge of the Forever Beast, Barrier Breach, and rare is Rogren Triome, yes. Ikoria takes it home and wins. Tap for blue, red, or white, and Spadfield taps. Cycle for three, fantastic, and a Jungle Hollow, and Human Soldier. So I'll pop those over there. Two packs left. So I am willing to declare the winner here, Ikoria. See if we can increase that lead even further. We got Gust of Wind, Ferocious Tiger Gorilla, Checkpoint Officer, Durable Coilbug, Fertilid, Thwart the Enemy, Patagia Tiger, Heightened Reflexes, Sleeper Dart, Convolute, and Uncommon's Fighters 1, Chittering Harvester, Barrier Breach, and Rare is Emergent Ultimatum. Sorcery for a buttload of mana. Search your library for up to three monocolored cards with different names and exile them. An opponent chooses one of those cards. Shuffle that card into your library. You may cast the other cards without paying their mana costs. Exile Emergent Ultimatum. The Swamp and Beast Token. Okay, final pack here. Let's see what we got. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. We got a Snare Tactician of One Mind, Dranith Stinger, Imposing Vantasaur, Fertilid, Serrated Scorpion, Day Squad Marshal, Crustacean, Excavation Mole, Suffocating Fumes, and a Trumpeting Gnar! Comic book artwork, Parcel Beast, more of that. Boon of the Wish Giver and Rare. Ooh, I like this guy. Obosh the Prey Piercer. Legendary Creature, Hellion Horror. 3 5 for 5. So I actually did a deck tech with this a while back. This was before they changed the companions. Uh, your starting deck contains only cards with converted mana costs, odd converted mana costs, and land cards. And if a source you control with an odd converted mana cost would deal damage to a permanent or player, it deals double that damage to that permanent or player instead. Nice, and if you miss that deck tech, I'll pop a link up in the corner, check it out. And then Windscarred Crag and one of these little punch-out cards, which is interesting. They are thin here, but yeah, the thicker... Let's see, we've got one over here. Do a quick comparison, you can tell the one that you get loose in the pre-release pack much thicker. Alright, so let's see what we get for the promo. Hopefully... Something very nice indeed. What's it going to be? It is Karuga the Macro Sage. Legendary creature, dinosaur, hippo. What I always wanted. 5-4 five, for 5 with companion. Your slaying deck contains only cards with command amount cost 3 or greater and land cards. And when he enters the battlefield, draw a card for each other permanent you control with command amount cost 3 or greater. So there we have it. I hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.